All right, here we go. You are here, teen programming for summer reading. So my first thing to talk about is photo contests. Uh, this is your opportunity to host digital photography at the beginning of summer, show kids how to get it started and send them out on the road, have teens take vacation photos with their library card or with their uh, library mascot or uh, any other library related item. You can have them take pictures of themselves reading on vacation, include local staycations or more exotic travel uh, depending on your area. Teens can earn a raffle ticket or small prize for their summer reading program. Photos can be displayed in the library, on the website, or in photo albums at the library. Pick the best, frame them, and display them in the library. Create an art show complete with an end of summer opening. Uh, as an alternative, you can have them Photoshop themselves and or their library card into their dream vacation. <laughs> Liquor is a great resource this summer for your photos. Uh, you can create a photo of Flickr group for teens to upload and share their vacation photos online. Flickr also provides tools and geo to geotag photos. Let me repeat that. Flickr also provides tools to geotag photos and upload them to a shared world map. And you can watch training videos to explain both the maps and geotagging online at Flickr. Also, Picasa Web Albums, which is Google's photo management service, includes geotagging in their latest beta version, which should be live in time for summer reading. Postcards. Uh, you can do a similar program with postcards. You can have teens send in postcards from their travels and display them in the library. You can structure the program to include short poetry and stories about the locations and provide bonus points to patrons who send in reading or travel reading or literacy related postcards or determine different categories uh, such as closest and farthest locations, etc. The manual also includes a programming idea for mystery photos. You are here, but where is this contest? Another chance to host an early summer reading program such as journal or writing uh, workshops and then host a writing contest. You can include travel themed journals for teens or they can provide their own. For more detailed information, see page 33 of the manual and or the You Are Here resources handout, which is available online at CLA.org. You can also do a collage or scrapbooking event, host an end of summer collage um, so they can, excuse me, so they can gather and organize all of their vacation memorabilia. And you can be inspired by their own vacation or from books they've read during the summer vacation. So you are here Book of the Week Clues. Each summer, the Marin County Free Library Teen Summer Reading Program hosts eight Book of the Week Clues. The clues are written and designed to promote the use of the OPATS in searching for and determining the correct title. And that's the tricky part, is finding a really thorough mark record that you can use to build your clue on. Um, Teens read the clues and submit their answers via the Evance summer reading software, which we use, but we've also done it without Evance, where we just post a flyer describing the clue in the teen section and near the OPATS. And uh, we add the Book of the Week listing to the alt note in Millennium, which is not searchable, so they can't cheat and just look for the Book of the Week clue. And we list it as Book of the Week 1, Book of the Week 2, etc. So when they find the record, they know it's the right one. So that's how we handle that. And this year we may change it from title of the book to location of the book to keep it more on the theme. And this is an actual clue that we used a few years ago. Luggage tags, um, Oriental Trading, a librarian's best friend. I think everybody here today has used Oriental Trading. Um, for about $60, you can get a whole kit on how to make luggage tags from Oriental Trading. It includes beads, ribbons, pretty paper, and the little plastic luggage tags. If you just want to get the luggage tags, it's about $20 with shipping and handling for $24. The, fifth, the $60 is also for $24 luggage tags with all the paraphernalia. If you want to just do total low cost, you can get your laminator out, get out your old magazines. How many National Geographics do you guys get every year in the donation bin? Uh, and just scissors and on-hand craft supplies and you can make luggage tags. Very easy, low cost, fun travel related program. Uh, film, if you have a public performance viewing license and a TV, DVD player, TV, 
TV, DVD, player, screen, and projector. You can host an international film festival. There's lots of ideas in the manual about how to do this. And you can also ask your anime distributors if you can have permission to show their films for free. Many of them will grant it to you. If you have access to flip cameras, which are a bane for your buck, about $100, $150 of the right deal on Amazon or any other online provider. Uh, all PCs have Windows Movie Maker, and teens know instinctively from birth how to use those. So you can just knock yourself out. It's free, it's easy. You can do it on a closed day, open up your lab, so that they can just come in. Every teen loves to come into the library when it's closed when it's just open for them and they get to be special for that time. Uh, they can create and submit their short films about their summer vacations and then you can host them on the library website, you can host them on YouTube. YouTube is the second largest web search engine in the world right now. Um, and to celebrate you can throw a red carpet premiere party. And food. Uh, a lot of the uh, food that was handed out during the raffle was from 99 Ranch, an Asian Pacific market. Uh, I bought 15, that was $15 worth of candy. Uh, there's tons of stuff in the manual about food. You can just knock yourself out with food and every teen librarian knows that food will get your teens in the door. Period, the end. If you don't have food, you might as well not have the program. Um, so the international candy sampling, I think is the best idea you can do with teens if you're not gonna do it besides the sushi, which is wildly popular, which we've done as well. and. That some of it's hot bean curd, it's stuff some of them have never seen, it's really fun, and if you do a blind taste test, they're just gonna knock themselves out. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do just with that. You, and if you have English foods, um, Mexican, Hispanic, Indian, anything that you have, um, it's gonna just really blow them away and it's gonna be a lot of fun.